hello everybody i hope you have done your problem which i have given you in the last video if you have come up with your answers you can match here in this video so you see we we had this simple curve and we wanted to find out the curvature and torsion of this curve right so what is the idea so we are going to get our unit tangent vector first which is going to be xt divided by x uh, sorry x prime t divided by x prime t modulus so x prime t you have to differentiate it so you'll be using product rule here you'll get e raised to power t cos t minus sin t i cap and here you'll be getting e raised to power t cos t plus sin t j cap and here you'll be getting e raised to power t k cap and then in the denominator you have to take the modulus so you'll do the x component square plus y component square plus z component square so that will be e raised to power 2t cos t minus sin t minus sin t whole square plus e raised to power 2t cos t plus sin t whole square plus e raised to power 2t so this is going to be you see e raised to power t sin t sorry cos t minus sin t i cap and then you have second term which is e raised to power t cos t plus sin t j cap plus e raised to power t k cap and in the denominator you have e raised to power 2t will come out of the square root sign like this e raised to power t and inside you have cos t minus sin t whole square so that is cos square t plus sin square t minus 2 sin t cos t and here you have cos t plus sin t whole square so that would be cos square t plus sin square t plus 2 sin t cos t and in the last term you will be left with 1 because e raised to power 2t is gone out so this is e raised to power t cos t minus sin t i cap plus e raised to power t cos t plus sin t j cap plus e raised to power t k cap and in the denominator you have this and this cancels this is 1 this is 1 and this is 1 so you have root 3 e raised to power t so you remember this is your value of x prime t modulus which we have to use later on also right so remember that this is the x prime t modulus okay and now you can actually and uh, this was your t t vector you can cancel e raised to power t throughout right because e raised to power t is never zero so your unit tangent vector becomes cos t minus sin t i cap plus cos t plus sin t j cap plus k cap divided by root 3 so this is our unit tangent vector okay now we can go for normal vector so for that you have uh, we have to calculate the curvature also so curvature was dt by ds modulus so let us find out dt by ds dt by ds we can calculate like this dt by t and then ds by dt modulus okay so if you look at this quantity dt by dt we already calculated like we have to calculate it from here and ds by dt is we know that this is x prime t modulus right you remember because s parameter was defined from 0 to t x prime tau d tau modulus so this means ds by dt is nothing but x prime t modulus right so this is uh, you are going to get from here uh, this is equal to uh, you just differentiate this so you'll get minus sin t minus cos t i cap plus uh, cos t minus sin t j cap i did cos t for this and minus sin t for this and for k it is going to be zero and then there is a root three and then in the denominator we know this is what we calculated this was i told you this was root three e raised to power t so we'll put root three e raised to power t is that okay so this is your dt by ds and then we have to take its modulus that is going to give me my curvature kappa right so this will be 1 by uh, 3 e raised to power t 1 by 3 e raised to power t and then the modulus of this quantity here so that would be square root of minus sin t minus cos t whole square i hope we all know what is the modulus we take the component y squares so this is equal to 1 by 3 e raised to power t 
square root of this is going to be sine square t plus cos square t plus 2 sine t cos t and then for the second one you have cos square t plus sine square t minus 2 sine t cos t so this and this cancels so you get and sine square plus cos square is 1 sine square plus cos square is 1 so you get root 2 by 3 e raised to the power minus t so this is your curvature so this is the curvature for the curve right and then we have to find the torsion for that we'll find our n vector first okay so you have to find your n vector n vector was your t t t prime divided by modulus of t prime we just calculated t prime here if you remember d, this is dt by dt right so you already calculated this so use reuse those quantities don't calculate again and again so this is minus sine t plus cos t i cap plus cos t minus sine t j cap divided by root 3 and then you have to divide it with the modulus so for modulus you have 1 by root 3 square root of my sine t plus cos t whole square plus cos t minus sine t whole square so this would be minus sine t plus cos t i cap plus cos t minus sine t j cap and in the denominator this root 3 and root 3 cancels right and in the denominator if you calculate the uh, this quantity and this quantity uh, uh, open the squares so this is sine square t plus cos square t plus 2 sine t cos t and for the second term you have cos square t plus sine square t minus 2 sine t cos t so this cancels so you are left with and this is 1 plus 1 root 2 so you are left with minus sine t plus cos t i cap plus cos t minus sine t j cap divided by root 2 so this is our n vector right now for torsion you should have b vector first so what is b vector b vector is t cross n vector so we already have our t and n vectors so you just write the components for t and n vectors so you see there are the calculations are long but don't worry they are not hard cos t minus sin t upon root 3 this was your t t vector right here i am using its components okay so divided by root 3 and the second component is cos t plus sin t divided by root 3 and the third component is 1 and then for this the components are minus sin t plus cos t divided by root 2 and then you have cos t minus sin t divided by root 2 and 0 here okay so now you can do uh, this thing so you'll get i cap you'll get this minus this so you'll get sin t minus cos t upon root 2 and with j cap you'll get this minus this so you'll get minus this would be plus sin t plus cos t upon root 2 and with k cap you'll get this times this so that is going to be root 6 here also it is going to be root 6 root 6 I didn't multiply the denominators okay so this is cos t minus sin t whole square plus sin t minus plus cos t whole square so this is going to be i cap sin t minus cos t upon root 6 minus j cap sin t plus cos t upon root 6 and you do this calculations so you'll, you'll get this is equal to 2 by root 6 k cap right so this is my uh, b vector right and i know that db by ds if i do db by ds is going to be db by dt divided by d uh, ds by dt so ds d by dt we know this is x prime t which is equal to we we calculated it right this is equal to root 3 e raised power t and dv by dt we can calculate from here so see what you'll get you get i cap cos t minus sin t, cos t plus sin t i'm differentiating this okay root 6 minus j cap 
this is going to be cos t minus sin t upon root 6 and the derivative of this constant term is going to be 0 and then you have root 3 e raised to power t so you get this is equal to 3 root 2 if these two be multiplied so this is 3 root 2 e raised to power minus t and then you have cos t plus sin t okay because i want to write it as minus tau times n vector right so i want to write it in terms of n vector and if i looked at my n vector there is a term of root 2 so i don't want to uh, use root 2 so okay anyways we'll write it like this then i'll bring root 2 inside so minus j cap cos t minus sin t okay so this root 2 will be bring inside so this is e raised to power minus t upon 3 okay and then um, inside also if you look at your n vector n vector is negative here okay and cos t minus sin t here can you see cos t minus sin t here so what we are going to do we are bringing minus outside so that you have minus cos t plus sin t i cap plus j cap cos t minus sin t and then you have root 2 here also so this if you look at this vector and compare it with your n vector this is nothing but n vector so this was equal to dv by ds so i get dv by ds is minus e raised to power minus 3 uh, t divided by 3 n vector so uh, i know that dv by ds is torsion negative sign n so my torsion is e raised to power minus t by 3 so this is the torsion for this particular curve so you see this is how you are going to do problems so we'll make a list of the formulas at the end maybe okay and we have so many things to derive so please keep learning and if you have any doubts please write in the comment box thank you for watching please share and subscribe